doing what I'm being led to do. And I would really like us, even as Mary and Homer did the worship sign, sign and worship. I was thinking, God, how wonderful it is that you're a great. Now those doors are closed, and praise the Lord, because we are sitting in the kingdom. Amen. We are sitting in a place of refuge. And I want to thank God for that. So I'm going to pray. And I'm going to pray not that the Holy Spirit come, because we pray that he would that we would be here when we arrive, that we would bring him with us. So the Holy Spirit is here already. And what we need to recognize that we carry this because we are in another culture. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. I want to say this because I really don't know when I'll be back or even the exact day I'm leaving. But I'll never leave his body. Because the body of Christ is united. And we've got to recognize how to be united in this hour. I want to say this, and I say this so often to everyone I meet, I appreciate our pastors. I appreciate how to teach. And the life he and Trish live. You see, who we are are bodybuilders. Our bodies are built in the natural so that we can maintain our muscles to stand. And our bodies should be built in the kingdom. And I am not going to preach because he's the preacher. I'm just going to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit and I'm going to teach something that is very important for every believer, no matter what church they belong to. And that is this. There's a difference when we say culture. We're talking about people who share the same um, understandings of who they are and what they do and how they dress and all of that. God wants us to understand who we are. And when we think about kingdom, we often think about heaven. But you see, his will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now how does that happen? Because we always look to heaven as being perfect and it is. There's no sickness there. There's no unemployment. Everybody loves each other. I mean, <laughs> let's face it. People have a hard time believing that there's a kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. But he said it. And you see, when you read your word, this is your manual to live. So I'm going to do seven points. And I'm going to do them as succinctly as possible. Because this is going to be a message from the Holy Spirit because of his word. But you are going to be the messenger. You see, that's what God aims for. He aims for us to be the messenger. Not just to come every week and hear it. And we hear it. We hear the truth. And I appreciate that. Because I go to many churches. In fact, this past weekend, God sent me someplace. Because my desire <clears throat> is to live and see a united of his people. I said, God, let me live to see a uniting of your people because that's your desire. And we need to give him his heart's desire because when we, and I say this often, when we agree with the heart of God, everything is in order. Because our agreement with him means that we have not only touched his heart, but he has touched ours. And whatever we agree upon with God, no matter what, Everything is fine. No matter what your circumstances, no matter what our circumstances are, it means 
that God has planned for us. But we've got to recognize it. So I, the first one I want to say to you so that we understand the foundations of the kingdom. I had planned to have this to hand out so that you can take your scriptures home, but I'm going to do it and leave it for next week so you can look at it. I want you to look at it. In 1979, the Lord gave me what kingdom culture was. In 1979. Now that dates me. But I say to everyone, they say, oh my, you're spry and everything. Oh yes, because I'm being renewed by the eagles. That's in the word. That's in the word. I, 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 and I know it. Why? Because when God speaks to your heart, you know that you know. And then you act like you know. And you carry it with you. So you won't see me not smiling. And you won't see me dragging.
we've heard this. But God is calling us today because we've got to stand on truth. We've got to stand in kingdom culture to show the world that he's greater. Amen. And because he's greater, so are we. Now he's going to demonstrate straight that today. And what he's saying, Matthew 3, 1 and 2, the kingdom refers to God's sovereign rule and the entry of the Messiah, which means an end to the rule of death and death in human systems. Is that not the kingdom? The end of death? God hates it. Again, Colossians 1, 27 and 28, Paul used the expression in Christ, which is how a believer enters the kingdom. In Christ. And shares in all the benefits of this new rule. All the benefits. That means that if a person is not, and you believe in not Altar, you can give a mind. We don't see that much. You know why? Because we don't understand kingdom living. Kingdom living first starts with understanding the rule of Jesus Christ in our lives. And when we understand that, we understand that it's spiritual. Then when we understand that, it means that the kingdom is in our hearts. You see, the kingdom is in our heart. What we've done is we've made the building our kingdom. So when you go outside of the building, is God not able to take care of this building? When we go outside of the building, God is saying, today, I'm speaking to you today. You take the kingdom with you. And when you go I know people tease me. Oh yeah, you say that you become the message and you can become the message. That's true. Your words are powerful. 